Yes, finally caught it. Finally! So of course we're back with another pretty quick to come out video. So yeah, I probably won't make this too short long or whatever. Um, but we did get all the game for us and units are all live in the game. Of course, we got the ETA area and all of us. Of course, I'm not going to make it just this into a video, of course, because um, I wanted to kind of go over into detail all of them though. Because I did it all of my other videos. I just want to kind of like make sure and go over see which one's kind of like the best or just, you know, going through it. I really didn't have to make this video, but I felt like it anyway. So, <laughs> whatever. Of course though. But yeah, though, I'm gonna make the video, of course, go through it and everything, of course. I'll fix my face cam. Uh, it, I've been back and forth with it the last couple of days, so it's working pretty well, though, though now. Maybe it's because I'm not short, because I've been wearing a short bike in forever. It got a, little, got a little bit chilly today, so I'm not supposed to just wear it today. Of course, though. But yeah. Um, of course, got um, all the main info right here. Of course, though, on the mouth brush. Okay. Uh, I was like, going to my watch time, right? Uh, but yeah. Of course, though. But yeah. Um, you got all the info, of course, and stuff like that. I'm going to go over all the detail and stuff like that. Of course, the easy area is pretty simple and easy. I heard a lot of people didn't like, really struggle with it or whatever, though. But um, it seems like it's um, pretty good. Uh, I have my tablet up here, too. And I was like, wait, what? But that was my, I have my little fan right here as well. Um, but yeah. I feel like it really shouldn't be like that difficult to go through or whatever though. Of course the info is pretty simple and easy. Um you guys the team part of our team, um or the game force team is literally one of those two or any yeah, literally anybody even the grave counterparts you can use all of them. Um you can use all the LA Game Force units, everybody all the LA Game Force, Great Apes, um for Team Bardock like and regular Team Bardock units, of course. You did use them with the, the Pacific Day, so of course, like for example, we had to use uh, for like, all the type of advantage and disadvantage chain units. I'm um, probably the stage one you had to use Gordo and of course Fasha, and then the stage you had to use Bardock and Fuku. Of course, it makes sense because you know the opposite typings, the regular typings, and stuff like that. Definitely all makes sense as well for that, of course, though. But yeah, definitely makes sense, definitely makes sense, definitely makes sense. Of course, though. But yeah. Um, of course, the um, Z Heart stage for left path is times two for bronze. Of course, you get two or three medals. Right path, you get times two. Of course, for silver, you get seven medals. And of course, you have rainbow chance to get bronze five or silver 14. Super stage um, for the other path, um, let me say it. We'll have. Yeah, but I know it's gonna freaking out a little bit. Um, for the super for the super stage, you have the left path. It's time two for gold, and of course, metal five medals. Um, or you the top two for um rainbow. Of course, medals five times five gold, or times five you know, gold. The same thing. And of course, the um chance to get rainbow or gold basically for ten medals. So pretty cool. Again, the rainbow ones. It's it's, it's weird because the last one I was like, okay, one more time. I only got this one more time. Then like the other like paths start to open. It's like I could have used this ten minutes ago game. Who used it 10 minutes ago? Like, come on, man. Seriously? I'm about to be done. You just messed me up there, though. So, um, yeah. I was seeing a little bit off the first, so I have not gotten sleep. I got sleep last night a little bit, and I got sleep the night before that, but the night before that, I, yeah, the last couple of days have been a little bit crazy, though, so I haven't gotten that much sleep. So, I look a little bit crazy, a little bit exhausted, to stuff like that. You guys know why. But, of course, though, but yeah, um, again, I still have energy to do all these videos somehow. But I'm glad, though, because otherwise I'd be in a slump right now playing Xenoverse 2. And I do that a lot. Not really a slump, but I do play Xenoverse 2 like, until, like, maybe, like, 2 a.m. or whatever. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> I always like a raid going on, because otherwise, like, the middle of the really kind of do. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people probably use the Game Force. Again, it's like a hybrid of both, though, so it's going to be kind of a trash team. That's why I guess they had all the and stuff like that. But I feel like it could be honestly pretty simple and easy, though, because you can, really, like, run a whole team of AGL, of course, you know, tech and stuff like that. And so, so, um, um, you had to struggle that much. Yeah, my nose is bothering me right now. I was like, man, I want to go downstairs and just blow my nose out a little bit, though. But, um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, though. Um, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of it. So, yeah, that's pretty much the same stuff about that. I don't know if I had to use, like, one or the other or both or whatever. But, that, it, for me, yeah, just, I didn't even check the info out yet at all. I haven't gotten, like, to that. But that isn't me going full and blind because I haven't seen any of this pretty much at all. Well, that was, uh, yeah. If, See, honestly, Game Force units don't want to kind of break them down and go over them. So, Gordo, he does. Because I want to break them down and talk about them properly. I didn't get to do it in my, um, of course. I did in my information videos, like, for all the down celebration parts. But I want to make a separate video for all of them, clearly. To kind of go over them and kind of see their own things. So, for Gordo, he does play dynamics so like a key 3, everything up to 77%. He's all the same type of leader skill, though. So, for example, Gordo has tech, key 3, everything up to 50%. Gordo has um, physical, and so on and so forth. Gordo has AGL, so, so on and so forth. Uh, but all these really just in difference. So let's go a little bit. Uh, SA effect pass up there, of course. Um, super attack really is a defense for one turn. Of course, and causes supreme damage with a um, high chance of slaying the enemy. Attack defense plus um, his passive. And then he links the categories don't change for his all. Unless the like, Joken does feel like it, though. But, um, yeah. Attack defense plus 60%, plus another attack defense plus 40%. When having 12 key, when there's 12 key, attack the enemy's attack defense um, minus 20% for two turns. I think he did that before a little bit. It seals enemies in the in seals 
the enemy's um, super attack plus additional attack defense plus 10% per game force attack rate out of the team up to 50%. Again, you can see that a lot. You're basically just using one of the game force team unless you want to run them on, you know, potential freedom support later on in the game that comes out probably like for a resurrection F on one side. Everybody's predicting that. I said that would make sense that the resurrection F Golden Freezer for the new um, October Dark Fest because we already know it's going to be a Wicked Bloodline unit. Last year with the physical um, Freezer, the year before that, I think was. SCR cool, but then you before that with like a Geo Medical And they're all pretty much here on Halloween, though. So we're going to um, pretty much kind of see them all though there. So you don't really like, need to stretch yourself out or go crazy or whatever, because we're definitely just going to see it there um, regardless, though. So, um, yeah. But yeah, though, um, Gordon doesn't seem that bad, though, at all. Um, he's pretty okay. Again, they didn't really change. I feel like they didn't really change that much of him before, though, but they just had the Game Force category thing and getting a little bit more for a super attack, though. He seems pretty solid, though. Again, reading them all out now and stuff like that is going to be pretty good. So I get a rough estimate of where they are and stuff like that in the game. I kind of to see and go over um, all this stuff of course though for you guys so yeah i'm um, on to i uh, think we're coming tonight he's like doing the best ones out of these see he just turned from conquest key three everything else seven seven percent raises his super attack effect raises attack for one turn supreme damage and um lowers uh, lowers on um, great lowers defense <coughs> attack defense plus 120. <coughs> oh but that's my draw all day Play drugs and play. Attack defense, plus, attack defense plus one, one twenty. Attack defense, another attack defense for thirty percent. With the attack um, received up to one twenty. High chance of doing um, guarding against all attacks when there is um, game force category ally on the team. Okay, that's pretty simple. It's very, very simple and easy. You can see that pretty much half the time anyway. Even though you might not get it all the time, but getting a high chance of stuff like that, I think is like what 80, 90 percent, I believe, of the I think or seventy percent, uh, seventy, eighty, or ninety percent. And you pretty much get to that a lot. Though. That's pretty broken right there. But seeing the super battle roll stage, where you can just kind of like see him and go like all in and stuff like that again like i said you can just like kind of pretty much go all in with super battle row let him tank a little bit though of course um because he's gonna have a damn like a cap and stuff like that though but you can kind of still let like, kind of go on a little bit though um but yeah i think um like like maybe like stack defense a little bit it probably would help him out but it makes sense for attack because he did like basically uh, attack gohan um krillin and of course video all in one go so um but yeah, though, um, the group teams are very simple, very easy. Again, I can see him a lot good. In this, I can see him really good in Super Battle Road. Um, again, the game force. Not maybe not extreme a little bit, though, but I probably honestly will see him. He'll be probably good there as well, though. But in general, though, I feel like he's going to be pretty good. And of course, like I said, Super Battle Road. Another um, forming stage of the game going for free play. But again, game force team for this, yeah, easily is going to be really good for this, so of course. But. Um, yeah, though, um, Grown Max seems really good. Again, I, want, I really want to see more on Super Battle Road and stuff like that. Plus, Jeff Ryan Conqueror is a really good, pretty good category. We're going free play or you don't have a clue or whatever. Um, you know, you can run the Giddy Force, whatever you want to go with it. A lot of people can run probably like the um, LR Tech Giddy Force anyway. Sadly, they did not get an easy A this time around. The pocket set up for a Giddy for, uh, you know, for Force celebration would have like Freezer Force, like, you know, like a new spe like a new special fighting pose, you know, next generation leader scroll, whatever, though. I don't know what they're going to do for a Giddy Leader scope. Probably going to special pose leader. Probably give him like a new category, like Freezer Force. Maybe finally get Freezer Force in the game. I feel like he would probably introduce that really well. I was thinking Vegeta could, but I feel like he would probably do it better. Because when we first saw the Game Force, you know, when they first showed up and stuff like that, we were like, oh my gosh, you guys are serious. But yeah, of course, though. But yeah. Um, Hunter Burrow, though, I think I did. He has him and Jace do a lot, though. And he's pretty simple and easy. Uh, so he did Dragon Ball Seekers, key 3, everything goes 7%. Um, that's the fact is raised the um, attack and raises his raised defense and raises attack. For one turn, I think it's, but he basically infinitely stacks the um, I think it's a defense, but he raises his attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. You can kind of tell the difference there a little bit. Um, but if you can't though, then it's like it's sometimes it's like, oh, yes, if it said, um, you know, if it, ra it says raises defense because supreme damage, they they do stack though, so he does stack, he infinitely does stack defense, I believe. But he does raise attack up for one turn though, so it's kind of, you got to kind of take that little grain of salt a little bit. Sometimes a little bit different and weird, but yeah, so for Burder, blue, bur blue blur. I think that's not like what I was there. I don't know why. I think I said that in my previous video as well, though. Um, attack defense plus 100%, plus another attack defense plus um, 20%. Um, Perky 13, high chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, that the first attacker in the turn. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack as a second attacker or a second or third attacker in a turn. Um, chance, of course, a chance of, um, of course, evading enemies attack, including super attacks. 20% so when there's a game force category member um, on the team. Um, ally on the team. So yeah, again, like, they're all good, like, mainly focus on Game Force, like, Team Bardock focuses on Team Bardock, and every other free play unit that came out beforehand and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, though, um, pretty good, though. Again, he, he, he like, in the first, second, third slot, stuff like that, dodging and stuff like that. He did that before, but I think they added him, like, you know, getting key spheres and stuff like that, which can be pretty good, though. I think they, um, I think he had that before, I believe. Let me check. He had that before? Yeah, he did. 
but he only did that in the first turn. So, yeah, they added a lot for him, though. Because he didn't need it, though, because the, every time he had to be hit in the first or second, like, first spot, he even dodge a lot, though. But now he can pretty much kind of, like, dodge, like, have a dodge in Maniac or any team, stuff like that. You had to build him, build him a full dodge and stuff like that. He'd probably go full, you know, additional, get that defense up a little bit. Maybe we'll allow him to dodge a little bit, though, later, but, um... I don't know, for me, flat back of the car, it looked like he had snow flicked in the background. This, this was, that's baffling me. It's like snow in the background. Oh, Christmas Game Force. That could be actually pretty cool. Oh, what if Christmas Game Force? That could be pretty cool, though. I know I think last year I said, um, Kill Khalifa for Christmas. That could actually be pretty good, though. But they got to kind of keep it a second with the, um, you know, thing this year, the, um, holiday theme. Like last year we had, uh, Gohan. We had Tech Gohan from the Project movie, and I can't remember Gohan. A couple years ago we had Trunks of Mai, Trunks of Mai, and of course, I think we had, like, a Santa Goku. Um, Makaku and Blue Goku came out, so they're gonna keep the, kind of that trend. It'd be kind of cool if they did it, though, like a Christmas game for us. But yeah, um, Burry doesn't seem that bad, though. And Kevin for Keith and getting dodged and stuff like that. That's pretty solid. You can kind of, um, kind of work around that a little bit. With his defense, second defense, and of course dodging. You can kind of honestly work around that, though. Honestly, Jace, which I, was, I figured he'd probably be one of the best support champions in the game, probably right here. So he does fish traveling Warriors category, key three. Everything else is 7%. I'll raise defense for one turn. Um, Scream damage and um, raise the allies attack defense of 20% for one turn. I believe he did that already, like helping out your allies and stuff like that before. Did he, did he do it before? Yeah, it was 20%. Okay, same thing here, pretty much. Um, his passive build attack defense plus um, 90%, plus another attack defense plus 20%. With each attack performed up to 60%. Pretty good. He can stack that up a little bit, and it would deserve that effect. Pretty good. So, because allies get key 3 and attack defense plus um, 30%, force these enemies super attack, uh, which I don't think he had before. Get for um, key first category allies, defense up to 40% when there's another key first category ally on the team. Again, they'll go around key four, so you can pretty much see that all the time 24 7, though. But yeah, again, pretty good support unit, though. I think before. Was he good support unit before? He was though, but not to this extent. They had make, they actually made him pretty good though, of course though. But yeah. Um he probably could be more again, more action level than Boris though, of course so, but um yeah. Um, again, as I see him, like, I feel like Raccoon probably easily is the best one probably out of all of these. Him and Jace has more potential, though. Burner has a really good, uh, more potential with his defense and, of course, dodging. But it was pretty okay, though. But, um, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like Jace should have been, I mean, I feel like Jace is pretty much broken already, though. Um, if they, again, again, he's come up, he has, yeah, because he's gonna give him, um, attack, you know, key for your allies. He's gonna help him out more with his attack and defense. But he's gonna help him out with more his defense when you get more game force category allies on the team, though. So, pretty good. On the game, you say the best for last, you know, you know, so he does spike, so he does special pedals, key three, everything up to 7 percent The super attack effect raises, uh, raises attack and raises defensive for one turn, uh, which I think before he didn't really stack attack though, so now he has that, but now he has his defense up. For one turn, called supreme damage to the enemy and still super attack, very solid. Attack defense plus 170 plus additional key three plus another attack defense plus 100 percent. With the same one enemy plus attack and and um, plus attack of 50 percent, it reduces damage received. <coughs> By 50% we have having um, facing two or more enemies plus additional attack plus 50% um, disables enemies guard when there's another game force category out on the team. Again, they're all pretty really much rely on game force though. But um can you again we're playing one against one enemy which in Super Battle Road if you can control the enemy fast enough, you could potentially again get that off and stuff like that, of course, you know, help that out a little bit though. Um but yeah though, um I wonder if the game force has special stickers. That'd be kinda cool. Yeah, get Vision until you get a special sticker for the game force. That'd be kinda cool. But yeah, um game again doesn't seem that bad. I feel like definitely Raccoon probably is the easy the best one out of all these though. Um <clears throat> honestly that probably put like Jay that probably put like Jay there because of all the potential he can do. Probably then Birder. Probably getting you because again, but fighting off against one enemy against Super Battle Road or two more enemies, which again, he's made for Super Battle Road. He's gonna destroy those stages though. So, yeah, I can see him being really good Super Battle Road heavy there. So, yeah, pretty much could go ahead and end the video there. But, yeah, I'll probably put, um, of course, Raccoon first. Then I'll probably put Jace because all the pictures he can do as a support unit. Further, probably, um, getting you because again, he's gonna have a lot more Super Battle Road. And, um, of course, Godo is gonna be good as well along that. Um, lowering that, of course, stunning, high chance stunning. That will save you a Super Battle Road. Don't get me wrong. He he'll save you in Super Battle Road. Trust me, he saved me a lot in the um Super Battle Road for Geek Force. He saved me a lot though. So yeah, have fun with this video though. Going over it, though, talking about all these units. Can go over the um of course the other game, the other units next though, stuff like that though. So yeah, they all seem pretty good. They're really good. Again, Super Battle Road Destroyer. You're gonna be tanking a Super Battle Road. You're gonna be this amazing stunner. You gotta dodge, have some defense. You're gonna be a massive support unit helping out the others. Yeah, they're, they're really good. The game Force well. Again, I like all of them though. Now that I see the video, not going it out. Pretty good. See you guys later though. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Oh, good job again though. Make sure to stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you if you're going out. Point where I'm massive. Plus, it's really, really neat.
So what you guys think about all this info though? Of course, you like it, you hate it. I think it goes simple, easy, pretty good stuff though, of course. Again, they're all really good in their own ways. Again, Ginyu, Super Battle Royale Killer, Raccoon, Massive Tank for Super Battle Royale, potentially more, more, more. Glow is gonna be really clutch again. Those things will help you on some powder road. Trust me, that saved me tons of times before. Um, did, did he seal? I'm trying to think, did he seal? Or am I, am I tripping? I think high chance of sending me. enemy. He, I think, no, he seals on super attack. Uh, on on SF, like, which actually does save you the um, Jason game being a really good support unit as time goes on. And of course, again, defense and of course, dodging good. It, it's gonna get you kind of far a little bit though, but it won't get you so far, but the defense stack is gonna be really good. Again, it's gonna have to get hit a little bit like you did before, maybe, but again, more. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see. Turn it on. So yeah, you had to get some protect to kind of have that in the case for a little bit though. Kind of a little bit of a handicap, but um, whatever is whatever. So yeah, see you guys later though again though. Peace out.